in a high speed chase that ended with a shootout. Tonight, Barrow County deputies say the driver is dead. The chaos started at a, as a traffic stop. It escalated from there. CBS 46's Brittany Etney joins us live from the scene. Brittany, good afternoon. Sean, good evening. It's been over 12 hours. GBI still out here and check it out. The suspect's car still turned over as they process the scene, go through things, and they've even been uh, cleaning up some of the debris that's out here on the road. But we've been speaking with people around this area who heard and uh, witnessed some of the things that happened. GBI says the police chase ended with the man crashing a Ford Fusion into a utility pole and a deputy killing him after he shot at law enforcement. Right after the crash, though, investigators say the man in his late 20s told police he would kill himself if they approached the wreckage. Witnesses say they heard the impact of that crash. You know, I was getting something to drink and I heard, you know, a big bang. Police came and I was like ran to the window, then ran to the other one and we were just looking. It looked like a little standoff, you know what I'm saying? GBI says a woman was in the passenger seat and she crawled out of the mangled car and immediately surrendered to police. It was just like... A lady screaming, they were telling um, do it to drop the gun, put his hands on the wheel and stuff. You know? Investigators say authorities repeatedly told the man to put the gun down and then at one point he fired at them and that's when they shot back. They tried to convince him like 20, 30 minutes and after that they just started busting. A scary situation for those who live right next to the road. You know, I ran downstairs and stuff, you know, tried to take cover in case because I had a feeling like the shooter or like, cops was behind there and they were shooting like right by the house. The man died at a nearby hospital and no officers or deputies were injured. Of course, GBI still investigating this officer involved shooting and as for that female passenger that was in the car with the man, uh, we are told by GBI that she was taken into police custody, but then she was taken to a hospital also because she did have some minor injuries that she sustained in that crash. I asked if they were expecting any charges for her specifically and GBI says at this time they have not yet heard from local authorities whether or not any would be coming down. Reporting live in Barrow County, I'm Brittany Yedney, CBS 46 News. Thank you, Brittany.